the like messenger of Taco Bell, the the prophet, the disciple, has returned to bring me back home to the church once again. Hi y'all, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In typical fashion of working six out of seven days a week, I kind of just have to find something to record on the day that I have off. So even though it is Tuesday and I just posted a video, I'm recording another video. But nonetheless, I do have a lot planned for today. So I do think it will be an okay vlog. It's just like whack that I just posted a video and now I'm recording again when I don't have to upload until Monday. And I don't want to get stuck in the trap where I like just record a video and upload because then I don't upload regularly. So like now I'm just going to have this footage ready for Monday and that's just going to be that. Today I need to go get more work shorts. I need to go to five below, and I'm going to get my ear pierced, and I'm gonna run to Walmart, and I'm gonna get stuff to bleach my hair, and I should also start shopping for the Escape the Night party. So we're gonna see where we are financially at the end of the day. The problem is that it is not even that it is, the real feel right now is 103. We have a heat advisory warning and I don't like the heat. My car does not have AC. So this is gonna be a time, a rough time. I'm probably gonna see if I can take Trevor's car. Yeah, that's the sitch. So who knows? We'll see where the night goes. Oh my God, guys, it's disgusting out here. I'm taking my brother's car because my car's making a weird noise and I don't want to take it 45 minutes away just for it to blow up while I'm in it. I can't waste too much time because I got to go, but I need his AC to kick on a little better than it is. Oh God. Stop one completed, ran to five below, got the phone chargers, got a new phone screen protector that I'll put on when I go home. Got a big ass bottle of water because it's hot as hell. And got some stuff for my AirPods. Next stop, the mall. American Eagle, Aeropostale. Maybe, no, I'm not going to Old Navy. I'm not today. It's just, my bank account ain't gonna support three different clothing stores. I just need khaki shorts. Y'all, so, spoiler alert for Dylan's Escape the Night Party 4, the vibe for me is gold. So, yeah, my vibe for my costume, like the accent colors are gold. So, there's to that. I also have not had earrings in in forever, so I'm about to roll into work tomorrow with all these earrings in my ears, because I, I don't think I had earrings in all season yet. So, like, I low-key think they forgot that I had my ears pierced, and, like, I told them that, that I'm getting my industrial done, but, like, I don't know if those were pierced before. I don't know, but I'm gonna have the industrial, too. It's gonna be a whole time, but now I'm hungry, so I need to go get food, and I'm actually making pretty good time, and I'm doing all right in my bank account, so we're thriving. Look at me being um, responsible with my money. So anyway, I'm going to get Taco Bell, nakedchickenchalupa.com, and that's that. So I'll check back in. In the time it took me to cross the highway, I had that Naked Chicken Chalupa finished, and I kind of wish I would have gotten a second one. I did get like an actual like Chalupa meal, but like those chicken chalupas though are so good. So good. Thank you, Taco Bell, for bringing them back. That's actually what got me hooked on Taco Bell was when they had the Naked Chicken Chalupas. Because I got it and I was like, oh, it's just like a chicken sandwich. Like, I can do that. So I got that, fell in love. I didn't realize it was the Naked Chicken Chalupa. So when I had gone back, I had ordered the Chicken Chalupa. And I got, like, the Chicken Chalupas that I have in my bag now. 
And I was like, this isn't what I wanted. But I was like, okay. So I like ate it anyway, loved it. And the next time I went back, I asked about it, they were like, oh, that was just like a limited time only thing, whatever, da 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 da. The like messenger of Taco Bell, the, the prophet, the disciple has returned to bring me back home to the church once again. Cause I have not had Taco Bell since I graduated cause I don't come down here anymore. But here we are, Taco Bell, Nigga Chicken Chalupa. Now Machine's gonna run on in, probably get another water cause I pretty much cleared that one. But this has been eventful. Also, I don't know what I'm gonna listen to on the way home cause all I've been listening to is AJR's new album. Like, I'm not kidding when I say that's literally all I listen to because half the album will get me to work and half the album will get me home from work. So I think I'm gonna listen to Olivia Rodrigo on the way home, but I listened to the whole album on the way here, so we're thriving. But yes, that was my update. Love the Naked Chicken Chalupa. If you haven't had it, go get it. It's so good. That avocado ranch is chef's kiss. So good. Okay, so we are back from the mall. I took a minute to sit in the AC and relax. And now I'm going to get my industrial bar done. So next time you see me, there'll be a new piercing here. I'm a little nervous because I know it's one of the easiest to get infected and all of my ears got infected. But all of my ears were also done so far out of Pagoda with the gun. So crucify me all you want. I also hate myself for that, but that's what happened and it's already done. So what are you gonna do now? But this one isn't gonna be with the gun. My tongue healed really well. I took really good care of my tongue. I had zero complications with my tongue at all. If you haven't seen those videos, you can watch my tongue piercing videos. So I'm really hoping that since this is gonna be like an actual piercing and not like the Pagoda, I hope that this is going to heal nicely, just like my tongue did, and hopefully, like, I don't have too many problems. Like I said in the last clip too, I don't know when I'm gonna be able to change my piercing, but I'm not trying to play around with this one, so, like, if I can't change it for the Escape the Night Party, then I'm just gonna have the industrial bar that's not gold in my ear. Although I would love if I could put the gold one in, but I'm not gonna rush it. Like, I'm just gonna let it heal naturally, and, you know, if, my piercer approves me to change it in about four weeks, then great. I know it was a four week period for my tongue to change it, I don't know. I just watched the video and another guy said not to even sleep on the side for six months and it'll take a full year to heal. I don't know, we'll see what happens. But I don't feel nervous. Like I felt really nervous when I went to get my tongue and I don't think I'm all that nervous this time. I think mainly because it's my ear and not my tongue. I am expecting this one to hurt more than my tongue did and I'm expecting the aftercare to be probably worse than my tongue was, only because, well, I don't know, because I did like eating. Maybe the aftercares will be about the same annoyance. I do think the ear is gonna be annoying longer than the tongue was, but who knows, we'll find out. Well, what do y'all think? I live for it. I'm already probably gonna have to take back the piercings that I bought today because I think I have the wrong gauge. I read, like a lot of them looked like they were 14 gauges, but she said this is a 16 gauge. I did get the half inch one, cause that's what the piercing said that I bought today. So I don't know. I live for it. I'm not excited for the aftercare aspect of it. I'm not gonna touch it, cause she told me not to touch it. She also said that the like bubbles, the keloids I think they're called, like they come from, she said that's not like an infection thing. That's like from like friction of the piercing moving. So she told me like if one of those starts to form, it's because something is bumping it. So to be really careful when I'm doing things, I'm actually not gonna put my sunglasses on. I'm just gonna leave this alone for right now and let it do its thing. I'm here for it. I love it. I'm intrigued about the 16 gauge over the 14 gauge. So I don't know. I don't know but I'm still here for it nonetheless. But I have six months to leave this in my ear before I can even think about doing anything with it anyway. So that's that. I don't really know what else to say. It definitely, like the piercing itself was worse than the tongue because the tongue literally slid right through. I don't know what the aftercare is gonna be like, but we'll find out, so stay tuned. Hey y'all, so actually, we're doing all right today so far. I've done a really good job at not bumping it. And I did a lot, like I said, I don't remember 
exactly what I said in the last clip, but I know I said about going to Walmart and going to see my grandmother, did both of those things, came home, you know, did a whole bunch. I cleaned it for the first time. And I mean, that kind of hurt. It was bleeding a little bit from like up in here, which is expected because they just put a hole in my body. So, you know, took a Q-tip, cleaned all that out, cleaned it like she said to clean it. It bled only a little, but I, you know, kept swabbing it. I do itch like right here at the top and I'm very like careful. It's interesting because it doesn't itch like here or here where the needle went through. It itches like right on the top. So I'm trying to be very, very careful because she said, she was like, you know, the keloids come from like it moving. So I'm trying so hard not to move it because I really, 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 really don't want keloids. And that's like the one thing I'm afraid of. So I'm gonna do everything in my power to not let that happen. I now have to give myself enough time in the morning to clean this before I go to work and then clean it when I come home from work. I'm excited about it. I think it looks cute. Sadly, and I think I said this in another clip, um, sadly I won't be able to change it for my costume for Escape the Night, which is kind of sad, but it's okay. Um, the rest of my jewelry looks really good. This is the jewelry I'll have on for recording. In some fun Escape the Night news, I have started scripting today. I'm still anxious about getting everything done and ordered in time but if i script two episodes a day i'll be fully scripted come saturday and then sunday i can start purchasing things so my goal is to have two episodes scripted and planned out in an, in its entirety each day so today i finalized the scripts for episode one and two sent those to all the people who need them so they can start preparing. I started piecing together the credits and I just did like finalizing of all of the cast's names, make sure I spelled everybody's name right, made sure everybody's name is presented how they want it presented in the credits, started doing that. Clearly I can't finish those until the night of because I wanna make sure everybody who is filming gets credit for that, everybody who helps with makeup gets credit for that. And instead of just like assigning so-and-so to do it, I'm just gonna like, you know, whoever helps with special effects makeup and like monster makeup will get credited for it. Whoever holds the camera and films anything for the season will get credit for it, you know, so on and so forth. The parts of the credits that I can have done are done. We just got everybody else added to our Discord server. With that being said, I have one of the characters recording a voiceover for one of the teasers. So I just sent out the script for that. So you'll see that teaser on the 16th or 17th of July. I have a teaser coming out and they have their script ready. So they're gonna film that. With that being said, be excited. Great things are coming. Now that I'm actively scripting things, I will have like teasers ready. I'm gonna start buying things soon. So if there's things that I purchase that I can show you guys, I will. Great things happening in the world of My Escape the Night Party season four. If y'all have like any like guesses for what you think is gonna happen, let me know in the comments because I wanna know what y'all think is gonna happen because I love when you guys make your predictions because sometimes they're like so wrong, but they're great ideas anyway. And I'm like, I'm glad somebody thought of this, but I just think it's so funny because some of you guys get so confident that you're like, I know this is what's gonna happen. And then it's not that way. And I just think that's so funny to me. Um, but I love that you guys get so invested in it. It makes me very happy. Make sure that you guys are following my Instagram because that's where I'm going to be doing a lot of character reveals, but I do, update my community tab quite a lot. So always be sure to check that out as well. With that being said, I'm not the only person who is posting teasers for this. I do have somebody who has done some stuff for me before, working on some cool stuff now, and they have also posted something a little bit ago related to my Escape the Night Party. They didn't say that it was related to my Escape the Night Party, 
but I'll let you guys try and figure out those pieces. For the person who is helping me out with this, if you would like to join in on the surprise, you don't have to reveal yourself and we can just watch together as they try to connect pieces. And then maybe you guys can make some guesses on the person who is helping me out. And then from there, you might even be able to guess what they're doing. When I do finally announce like how they're helping me out, I will clearly give them credit and tag their Instagram and all that good stuff. So you can go follow them as well because they do great work. It is now late o'clock and I want to try and clean my room a little bit before I go to sleep. With that being said, I'm going to get going so that I can clean my room and get to sleep in time so I can wake up and go to work. Give this video a big thumbs up, leave a comment down below, and hit the subscribe button. See y'all next time.